Echo is one of my favorite effects, so these tutorials could be a little dangerous because I tend to put it on everything. Hopefully I won't cause too much chaos. I'm a guitar player so you can't really blame me. Delay is one of the must-have effects for guitar. The Echo in Reason 6 is a really advanced stereo echo, so try to get rid of any preconceived notions you might have about this thing, because it's much more than a simple delay machine. Let's take a look at it and see if we can get it to do some cool stuff for us. To start, I'm just going to try out a simple echo on this little corded synth line I have here. I'm going to start by soloing it so we can hear it all by itself. Let's give a listen. It's pretty basic. Let's turn up the dry wet knob to the middle. There, now we have a little bit of delay. It already sounds better, and all I did was turn up this one knob. Okay, now we need to tweak it out. Over on the left here, we can set the mode. Right now, we're in normal mode, but there's also triggered mode and roll mode, which we're going to check out in a little bit. Beside that, we can set the delay time. Right now, it's on eighth notes, so let's try moving it to quarter notes. Cool. If you're not concerned about having it sync to your project, you can always turn this off. And then you can just set a value in milliseconds. Cool. Right now we're only hearing one echo, but we can change that by cracking up the feedback. Very nice. Now we can use the rest of these knobs here to color the sound. Let's start over here with the drive. We can add some drive by boosting this up and choosing a type. I like the tube saturation, so let's try that out. We also have a limiter, overdrive, and distortion, but tube's my favorite. You can hear it's a little gnarlier now. I like it. We can also use the modulation stuff over here. I'm going to turn the wobble up a bit. Now you can hear it's a little wobbly sounding. back down, and then we can use the envelope here to make it change pitch over time. You can hear each delay is getting a little more off pitch. Right now it's going down. We can make it go up. You can see you can get pretty extreme. One of my favorite features here is diffusion. It allows us to smear the sound a bit and add imperfections. It's subtle, but it makes the sound a little less digital sounding, which I like. Very nice. Okay, let's check it out in the context of the mix. Cool, things are sounding good so far. 